Well, I mean, we talk about the uneven bars. That's where Utah State's at right now. I mean, what are the judges really looking for as they're putting together the scores? Obviously, you know, as, as I'm hearing you, you two talk about it, you're saying, you know, the leg separation, you got to keep your legs together, I'm imagining. Obviously, you got to stick the landing as best you can. Uh, what other things are they looking for? So we're looking for definitely big height on those releases. And um, we're seeing a lot of connections as well. That gives you bonus for that bar routine. Um, and then, like I said, the, the little things, pointed toes, legs together, and hitting those handstands. Brianna Book starting on the high. Big release move. Beautiful yeah. connection. Like I said, those connections. And she does it beautifully. And she is just an absolute star on bars. She gets so much height on those release moves. Big dismount to a stuck landing. Yeah, monkey see, monkey do here. Bree is such a pleasure to watch. Oh my goodness, her lines are beautiful and she hits every single time. Like we said earlier, her teammates know that they can rely on her and she's gonna be a great solid score. Now last on the vault for Nebraska is Emma Spence. Spence, one of three all-arounders we're going to have tonight. We have Bronna Brooks from Utah State. No all-arounders from Alaska, but Nebraska's bringing two. They have Spence and then Sophia McClelland. Yeah, really solid vault rotation here for Nebraska. Scores for Nebraska to this point as Spence takes off. Yurchenko, one and a half, and that's a 10-0 start. That'll be a great ball. Yeah. That was really clean, and she barely took a, just a little bit of a step. Awesome to see gymnasts challenging themselves at that 10-0 start value. Especially at the end of season. Definitely. Sure. Now, nobody on Nebraska has scored less than a 9-8 on the vault tonight. McClellan getting a 9-8-5. Keenaman getting a 9-8. Probably going to be the score to drop, depending on where Spence finishes at. A 9.85 from Hall, a 9.875 from Comine, and a 9.825 from Davis. Those As are huge vault scores. And we're getting ready to see Danny Kirstein get started on her routine with the uneven bars. Beautiful handstand. Holds on. Just barely misses that release move. Yes, it looked like she just didn't get enough oomph into that release. Yeah. She was a little short. And I imagine they could just be so demoralizing because you you know your routine, you've done it so many times, and then just to have those slight, the, just that miss by a couple inches, and you're exactly. off the bars. Exactly. It's really frustrating, especially when you're constantly hitting it in practice. It can be really frustrating, but she'll get it again. Awesome to see Kazumatsu on the vault. That's definitely a different vault and also a 10-0 start. And that's one of the exhibitionists for Nebraska. It's not even one of their top six for the scoring tonight. Love to see it. So it looks like Danny is going to redo it because she does need that connection into that pack salto in order to get her bonus. So she's essentially Starting redoing over. her routine. But she'll still get that deduction, unfortunately. But great to see her getting it this time. Giant full to a double tuck. Just a slight hop on that landing, but that's exactly what we want to see is coming back, bringing it back strong, and minimizing strong. any of those deductions. Yeah. A 9-9, nine, nine the score for Spence on the vault. Scores for Utah State on the bars. Gutierrez getting a 9-7-7-5. Seven, seven, Rojas a 9-8-2-5. Bibby a 9-8-5. And Brianna Brooks currently the top scorer on the bars for Utah State at a 9-9. Nine, nine. Obviously, Christine going to get a big deduction, or at least a sl uh, some sort of deduction for falling off, having to start over her routine. And Lexi Aragon going to finish it out, anchor up for Utah State today. She's just got to focus on herself and her gymnastics and doing what she knows how to do and not getting ahead of herself, focusing on each skill at a time, and she's got it. Well, Lex is a really strong anchor here. She's got some big skills, big connections, and a huge dismount with a full end. So you don't see that often on bars. Now some scores for Alaska on the balance beam. A 9.675 for Montana Fairbairn. An 8.925 for Robinson. Obviously, Robinson fell off the beam. That's why there's such a big point deduction on her. Bonifaci 
struggled a little bit, was able to stay on the bar, looked a little uncomfortable, but was able to get through the routine. Just three left for Alaska on the bars, and Dishas, Rano Barana, and Farrell. And here what we're looking for, like after a fall, your job is to get it back on track. Nothing else. So they Don't just worry about the past, focus on the future, just focus on what you know how to do. Exactly. Beautiful start. Handstand free up, handstand to Takacha. Great release. Another beautiful handstand, focusing on those details. Nice fail to handstand. Really nice to see back up from handstand for Lexi. Finishing up on senior night. Gearing up for that dismount. Half in, half out. Awesome routine for Lexi. She brings it back for the Aggies, and they'll be able to drop Christine's score, and that was a great rotation. Definitely a great finish for Utah State, especially, you know, and obviously Christine just so disappointed with the 9 2 7 because she's had some phenomenal performances for the Aggies on the bars up to this point. So to have that be your last one of this season here in the Spectrum, it can be disappointing. The nice thing is she's still got a couple more years here at Utah State as well. Exactly. We still have And the season's not over. Yeah, she has a lot of other meets, and Lexi brought it back for senior night. That was awesome to see, and I'm really excited for her. So Rachel Dishas on the on the balance beam for Alaska, the lone senior on the Seawolves roster. Well, and you can tell she is super sharp, confident on this event. And but, she's yeah. having a good time up there. She's smiling, getting into her dance. Having a good time. Just a dismount. Just a front fold with a slight hop, a beautiful routine. Great routine for McClure. So Deshus out of Mesa, Arizona, finishing up the fourth of six for Alaska. Just two left for the visiting Seawolves as Utah State and Nebraska wait to move on to rotation three. So Emma Spence's 9-9 is the high on the vault tonight. Alaska the only ones with the chance to try and top it. Utah State's high from Olivia Ostendorf for the 9-8-5. Just a little shy of that one. High on the bars is going to go to Brianna Brooks as Lexi Aragon's score comes in at a 9.825. Yeah, great way to finish the bar rotation. Lexi's super reliable on this event. Last little bit of coaching here for Paola Ruano Barona. She's awaiting for the score to come back in for her teammate in the green flag. Coming back for Alaska, great score. Just continues to build in this lineup. And Bonifaci getting a 9 7 7 5. Both those scores really helping to kind of bump up the score, especially in the case that you have to keep the 8 9 2 5. I'd imagine they don't from Robinson, but it'll just depend on how these last two performances from the Seawolves go. a little cricket on that series. Oh, that's unfortunate to see. Now, Ruano Bo Barona, excuse me, is from El Salvador here at Alaska. And just her first season as a freshman. Switch late split series. Finish it up with the dismount. With a round off, one and a half. Stuck landing. I'd call it a stick for sure. Great yeah. finish. Great finish. She did fall, but she was able to finish strong. So Shannon Farrell going to be the last Seawolf on the beam to finish out the second rotation.
Farrell, a sophomore from Sydney, Australia. As they await the score from Ruana Baroja. That is the tough part about these tri meets is you have those teams on either the beam or the floor that kind of extends the the night a little bit longer just because those routines take a lot longer than you know running through the vault or doing your your event your routine on the uneven bars. Does that kind of is it hard to kind of stay focused, stay in a good mentality when you have to kind of wait for other teams to finish up on those other events? Um, not necessarily. I feel like these girls are very well trained, especially in practice. They train on having those waiting times because sometimes that happens with the judging is that it takes a little bit for the judges to kind of consult the score. Um, so they definitely train that in practice. And as you can see, some of the girls are on the side um, doing their dance and just kind of staying in the zone. So. It definitely can get in your head, but the girls train for this, so they, it's definitely doable for them. Farrell getting started on the balance beam. Showing off her flexibility in that mount. Another one of those hard wolf turns. Yeah, really nice to see those girls challenging themselves. It's um, definitely different. Yes. Ruano Baroja earning a 9-2-7-5. The Seawolves going to have to keep that score. Front aerial into a back handspring connection. Beautiful really series. nicely done. She looks calm and collected. Split jump to a ring jump. Real, or really nice to see. And that's a blind jump. She takes her eyes off of the beam and back onto the beam. Front aerial. To a switch jump, nice connection. Gearing up for that dismount. Gainer off and sticks the landing. That's exactly what we, what we want to see in that anchor position. Great routine for Farrell. A really strong routine to end it out for Alaska. Help bring their score up a little bit after having to take the 9-2-7-5 of Ruana Baroja. Rotation two is all done. We're going to get ready for rotation three here in the Spectrum. We'll be right back here on the mountain. Welcome back inside the Spectrum as we get ready for rotation three. Currently, Nebraska in the lead, staying consistent at a 49-3 on the floor. So they're in the lead at 98.6. Utah State trailing in second at 98.025, followed by Alaska at 95.9. Utah State scoring a 49.175 on the bars. Their second highest score of the season on the bars. Alaska scoring a 48.35, one of their highest on the beam. And Nebraska's 49.3 is second highest. The only time they've scored higher was last week at the, the Big Fives event with five other Big Ten schools in their conference where they scored a 49.350. So we're going to see a, a lot of action, a little bit slowed down as we've got Alaska on the floor, Utah State on the balance beam, and Nebraska finishing up on the bars. A lot slower in this rotation. What can we kind of look for as everything kind of slows down a little bit more? Well... We're definitely, I mean, these are pretty big events here. So they're, we're going to be seeing a lot of gymnastics in these um, last two rotations. Um, but the momentum is just go, just rising with these teams here, especially with Nebraska with the 49-3 and then um, the Aggies on beam and floor, which are two of our best events here. So I'm really excited for these last two rotations. Me too. We're seeing a lot of really good scores and big gymnastics, and I think it'll only go up from here. Now, every team so far, other than Nebraska, has increased their scores. They've gone from event to event. Nebraska staying consistent, but it's kind of hard to improve. Once you break over 49 to get any higher, it's a little bit trickier to do. So it'll be interesting to see how everything shakes up here on the third rotation. So Utah State going to start on the balance beam. Olivia Ostendorf, Ostendorf going to lead off, followed by Lexi Aragon, Jenna Eagles, Brianna Brooks, Sophie Sullivan, and Carly Bales in that anchor position. Alaska going to be on the floor, starting with Montana Fairbairn, followed by Mackenzie Robinson, Ariana D'Souza, Brianne Spain, Alyssa Manley, and Rachel, Rachel Decius finishing out for the Seawolves on the floor. On the bars for Nebraska, they'll start with Sophia McClellan, 
going to Genesis Gibson, followed by Clara Colombo, Emma Spence, Kinsey Davis, and Emma Simpton. And here's the start for Utah State on the balance beam. Really excited for this beam rotation. Um, there were two nine nines last week, so excited to see what's going to happen tonight in the Spectrum. Working on getting cameras there. Livy Ostendorf already doing one aerial pass. Here we go. Split jump, kung full, nicely done. Front toss, a little bit shoulder down, but manages to stay on. Here we go with the dismount. Round off, one and a half. To, to a, a stuck, stuck dismount. <laughs> I've definitely been seeing from the Aggies, they have been working on those sticks on, on beam in practice. It's awesome to see them showing up in competition. Stuck landing for McClellan over on the bars. It's the first pass here for Fairbairn for Alaska. One on and a half Florida to team. start off the floor team. Big leap series. Looks like she's having a lot of fun out there. Has to get a back tuck in there for her back series. Getting ready for the last pass. A lot of energy in this floor team. That's what we love to see. Front lay, front full. Great very, landing. Yeah, very controlled. She looks really excited about that. Great start for Alaska with Montana here. And it looks like Utah State and Nebraska getting started with their second gymnast on each rotation. Aragon on the balance beam for Utah State. And Gibson Lex on the bars for Nebraska. Lexi is really clean on this event. Really shows off her technique. Just slow and steady, one skill at a time. Very poised. Calm and collected. Beautiful fourth turn. Getting ready for her series. A lot of excitement from Nebraska on that dismount from Gibson. Backhand spring layout. Beautiful step series out. to a stuck landing. Front toss. Oh, shoot. She couldn't hold on to it there. Is Aragon going to fall? She's just got to focus on taking it each skill at a time. Every little bit matters. Yeah, Great finish. Really difficult this month there. Back handspring to one and a half and just a slight hop on that landing. Man, up until that fall, she was doing so well. I mean, it's just so hard for me just to think that you know, you, you fall off and you have to just get right back on to try and just minimize any deduction to mentally just stay back, lock right back in. It's got to be really tricky on these yeah. athletes. And every deduction matters. So if somebody else falls, you still want to have to have that be a decently high score for it being a fall. So. Yeah, you want to do everything you can to kind of gain those tens back and yeah. not let anything go. Yep. Mackenzie Robinson starting on the floor for Alaska. While Clara Colombo getting ready to mount on the high bar with the uneven bars. A little short on that handstand. Wind into a Pike Jaeger, very nice. Pack Salto, beautiful. First pass on floor, round up by Kensing, double tuck, huge height. Lots of air on that. A little bit short on that handstand. Wind, front giant. So double front half out and sticks the landing. That is a really difficult dismount. She looks like she's really excited about that. Yeah, that was a great routine for Nebraska. That'll be a big score. 
Yeah, all I saw was those handstands, but all the big skills were great. Definitely. Now Robinson's career has a 975 on the floor, showing a lot of a lot of confidence, a lot of energy. See Jenna Eagles on the right, getting waiting for the green flag to get started on her beam routine. She's a really fun floor routine. Second pass, run up by handspring, one and a half punch layout. A little bit of knees on that front layout. Scores coming in for Utah State. Austin Dorf getting a 9.75. Really solid routine for Alaska. Green flag over on the uneven bars. As Emma Spence getting ready to start her routine. An 8 9 7 5 coming back for Aragon. Beautiful Shaposh to pack. To a toe on. And another release move to the high bar. Lots of difficulty in this routine. Giant full to double tuck. Beautiful Very routine. Done, yes. Lots of difficulty. Wow. On the bars for Nebraska, 9.875 from McClellan. Same score from Gibson. Colombo getting a 9.925 as the green flag is given to Jenna Eagles and she'll get started on the beam. Now, Jenna's job here is to just get it back on track um, after that fall and just focus on one thing at a time and taking it slow through beam. Now the room for error for the rest of Utah State's gymnasts on the beam is little to none since you really want to drop the 8.975 from Aragorn. Beautiful series. Yeah, and she just dances right out of it. She just keeps everything moving. She said, I'm not wobbling today. And if I am, it's on purpose. And then off she goes. Yeah, she was just a little bit off on that side aerial. But brings it right back with that switch leap split jump. Great 180 split. Gets ready for the dismount. Round off, one and a half. To Great stick. finish. Very nice stick. Unfortunate to fall on that side aerial. But we still have a lot coming on this beam lineup to bring it back. Big release move over here on bars to a bail to handstand. Looks like Nebraska is also focusing on those details, hitting all those handstands, keeping those feet together, and sticking those landings. And that was Kinsey Davis over on the bars for like Nebraska. Said, she's really excited about that. Yeah, like she said with the stick. <laughs> she stuck it. It's exactly Easy. Like she did. We have Ariana D'Souza on the floor for Alaska right now. Yeah, she started off with a really clean front double fall. That's a really difficult pass to start off with. Getting ready for her second pass. Huge one and a half. She jogged into that. You could tell she has to control her power. <laughs> Even on her leap, she has a lot of height. Last pass coming up. Round off one and a half punch layout. Beautifully done. A lot of power. Yeah, she could have done a fourth pass. If yeah. She had enough energy. She jogged into all her passes. That was easy for her. We got Brianna Brooks getting started on the balance beam now. A 9.025 coming back for Jenna Eagles. And a 9.925 for Davis for Nebraska on the bars. Brianna is so pretty to watch on beam. Super long, beautiful lines. Yeah, and she, she shows really it off. Shows off her flexibility here. This series just keeps going. She's still going. Like I said, she's really showing off her flexibility. Super fun to watch. Hold on to that pirouette on bars. That's Emma Simpton over on bars, finishing it out for Nebraska. Switch half to split jump, nicely done. 180 split. Double lay, pike down a little bit too soon on that dismount, but great routine for the Huskers. 
Free looks like she's having a lot of fun up there. Getting into her dance and smiling. Back handstand gainer full to a stuck landing. Yeah, Bree is super reliable on this event. Last week she got a 9-9, so I wouldn't be surprised with another high score. And way to bring it back for the Aggies. Awesome to see. Even under pressure, you know she's going to hit. We've got Brienne Spain on the floor for Alaska now. Rudy, chest was down a little bit, but dances it out. So a 9-5 for Robinson, a 9-5-7-5 for D'Souza. Alaska staying consistent right in that 9-5, 9-6 range. Looks like we have an exhibitionist for Nebraska over on the uneven bars. Nice jump combination there. Beautiful pack. All right, change posh, free hip. Looks like she repeated it to get that pirouette around, gearing up for that dismount, double A. Yeah, a, a lot of difficulty step back. in that routine. Really yeah. nice routine. So a 9 7, seven five for Simpton. Going to be the score drop from Nebraska on the bars. They had Davis and Colombo at a 9-9-2-5. So I don't think anybody's catching up to Nebraska at this point. Looks like she was just a little bit too high on that one and a half and just missed the punch. 9-9-2-5 coming back for Brianna Brooks on the balance beam as Sophie Sullivan getting the green flag, gets green flag getting started on her routine. Huge score for Brooks. The Aggies definitely needed that. All those tents count, especially when you have to count a fall. So Sophie really shows off her confidence. She, it's a really quick routine here. She just keeps everything moving. She's really aggressive and gets after her dance and after each skill. Super fun to watch. And she just, just keeps moving. Yeah, just the dismount left. off one and a half to, to a, a stuck oh. landing and that's your beam queen everyone absolutely so the 9925 for Brooks is actually a career high for her on the beam here in the spectrum love to see it chance of 10 from Utah State trying to encourage the judges to give her a high score for Sophie Sullivan and what her a career great high, feeling. 9975 so a tough mark to beat for Sullivan, but really a great, strong finish to a solid routine from one of the remaining beam queens. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Definitely what you want to do on senior night. You want to hit and just have all that hard work pay off, and you could see it did. Alyssa Manley waiting on the green flag to get started on her floor routine. Score coming back in for Spain. Looks like it's an 8 8 2 5, and there's the green flag. Manley is going to get started. Now, Nebraska's all done on the uneven bar, so it's just Utah State and Alaska left here in rotation. Another three. 9 9 2 5 for Sullivan. Aggies are really stepping it up. Utah State finishing with. Carly Bales on the beam. Another senior for Utah State. Double pike on floor. And here comes Bales. She scored a 9-9 last week with a beautiful routine. She is really strong and confident on this event. Run. And another fall for Utah State on the beam. So she will have to that in order to get that bonus that is her series front aerial to the split jump nicely done she's gonna have to do that one more time split jump tuck three quarter
Looks like she's going to give it another try. Front aerial. There she goes. Back handspring, back handspring. Beautiful. Nice full turn. Just a dismount left. Trying to finish that routine strong. Round off one and a half. Mm. A little stumble there. You can tell she's not happy with herself with that performance. She knows she can do better. Just unfortunately slipped off the beam and it threw off her whole routine. It's just really disappointing because, yeah, you, you work so hard and you want it to be a great night for senior night, but she still has a few more meets in the season, so she is able to recover from that. It's just unfortunate that was her last routine in the spectrum. But it's not the last routine of the season, like we said. So she can come back from it. She will it. be just fine. So Rachel Deesh is going to finish it out on the floor for Alaska. Looks like Utah State might have an exhibitionist or two on the balance beam. 